The students of D.C. Everest Senior High, known for their service, their spirit, their talent, and their academics, all have or will go through the same thing, junior year. Some hear it's scary, some hear it's fun, but how will you, this year's juniors, view it? By following these tips and advice from your peers and your teachers about planning your future, there is no doubt that you will make your junior year the best that it can be. 11th grade is where the college preparation process kicks into high gear. In addition to taking entrance exams, you should be focusing on building your admission credentials. Sharing some insight is Everest Fine Arts Coordinator, Mrs. Diane Gage. So, when you're looking at going into college, most universities still look at all of your co-curricular and all your elective classes that you take because it tells them what your time management skills are like, it tells you how disciplined you are, and it talks about how of a well-rounded individual you are. So being a part of the performing and visual arts here at DC Everest is certainly going to be an advantage to you as you get ready and are looking at colleges and universities. And it's also going to say to them that you are someone who can handle time management and you're disciplined and you're willing to strive for excellence in all that you do. Not only is there proof that college admissions like seeing performing arts on your applications, but also to see that you've involved yourself with athletics. Here to share is Mr. Mike Plaza. Well, there's no doubt if you're a student athlete and being involved in all different types of clubs and, and athletics being one extracurricular, that it's a good thing to have on your uh, college application. Um, the more you're involved, the more discipline you have, um, things you can lead in, and that's a good quality to have um, for the college admission board to take a look at. So I would encourage a lot of people to uh, get involved with as many things as they can, and if athletics is the is the means to do it, by all by all means, jump jump right in. But for those who don't have the time to devote themselves to the fine arts or sports, clubs are a great way to show a college that you are a perfect fit. Ryan Eisman explains how his preparation during his junior year helped him with college applications his senior year. Being involved in co-curriculars at DC Everest has really helped both my high school career and applying for college. Um, if you're an active member of just the enormous amount of clubs that we have here, it really helps you make relationships not only with other students, but also with teachers that you're going to need to help write letters of recommendation for you because they know you and they see what you can do. And it also, just being involved looks really good on college applications because you'll have a whole page where you have to put activities that you've participated in. Putting all of those on there gives you an advantage over kids who haven't done a lot of stuff in high school because they see that you can still be involved and still have good grades and that you're a very well-rounded person. Additionally, stay focused on academics your junior year. Your grade point average and class rank are greatly factored into your college admissions. Continue to get involved. Meet with your high school counselor to make sure you are on the right track for college. It is never too early to register or prepare for your entrance exams such as the ACT or SAT. Also, research and make visits to potential colleges that you find interesting to make sure that is the right fit for you. During your junior year, make a difference. Whether it be in your classwork, whether it be at school, here, at home, on the field, on stage, wherever you go, let people know that you're from D.C. Everest. Everest has a long-lasting tradition of pride in their students and in their alumni. And that is because they take the things that they learn here at Everest and they apply them to their everyday life. And good things come from that. So basically, get out there and make a difference. You are already a month into your junior year. What are you going to do to enjoy it? And what are you going to do now to prepare for your future? Whatever you do, make sure that you... Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.